I have a question about Sachi Ananda Vikrama. When the individual entity becomes eligible to receive a spiritual body, does that mean that we keep our mind, intelligence, and ego, and that the difference is that it is now purified, or do we receive some kind of another body? It is always, it always confused me about the false ego. Do we drop it or do we purify it? Yeah, you you are confused. You're you're confusing the body, and the uh, symptoms or attributes of the spirit soul. The false ego is part of the body. The false ego is the identity that's based on the bodily concept. Oh, I'm Mr. So-and-so, and I live in this country, and I'm born in this family, and I have this kind of body, and my occupation is such and such, and my religion is so-and-so, and blah, blah, blah. Okay, these are all material identities. And the, the false ego is composed of these material designations. So the false ego is part of the body. And we say that because when one leaves the body, then that identity becomes null and void. It's like it never existed. We completely forget who we were in the past life. Huh? Just like right now, we can't remember who we were in our previous lives. And that's because that identity is false ego. It doesn't exist anymore. It's gone. So the real ego means, first of all, I am a spirit soul. I'm an atomic particle of pure consciousness. And I'm just temporarily in this body. But I have an eternal body. Huh? So the eternal body the spiritual body exists eternally. It exists right now. We're just not conscious of it because we're not self-realized. But that eternal identity is our real ego. Uh, there's false ego and there's real ego. The false ego exists temporarily. The real ego exists eternally, along with the real body. So try to understand, everything is there in the soul, mind, intelligence, ego, desire, activity, energy, intelligence, and so on. And then there's a similar reflection of those same qualities attached to the body. Actually what it is is that it's the qualities of the soul simply reflected in the body but the body doesn't reflect them accurately. The body reflects them in terms of material qualities. So those things are temporary and they exist along with the body and when the body is finished, they're also finished. Then, when one becomes self-realized, he becomes aware of his real identity, his real ego, his real intelligence, real mind, and so forth. Is that okay? So there is one other question by Thomas Evans. What is the appearance of the soul in the spiritual world? Depends on his spiritual identity. So Andres says that makes perfect sense. Thank you for that. Good. Okay. So it's getting really late. Mm -hmm. If there aren't any final Joy, questions. Joy, Joy. Huh? Okay, come on, bring the new star. Bring the new star, here we Here's our new baby, our new devotee. Huh? Yeah, they can't see, but they can review the video. Oh, you, that's right, you can't see because we're not transmitting video. But you'll see when you watch the video. Here, look at the cameras. Look at the camera. Sure Make the bow with your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? Huh? What you doing? See the cat. Practicing for the rat. Yes. Okay. Now that you've made your first television appearance. <laughs> so it's time to sing Lion Song.
Shri Ram, Dalita, Hiranyakashipu. 